ejaculated so aggressively that one of his testicles actually like popped out of his cock hole. Oh yeah. So yeah, I'm like hesitant to watch corpse porn. Yuck. Welcome to episode number six of the Klish Nia Fokuri Marish Fully Knir Papa Nia. We're coming straight out of the house. Hampton. Excuse me? On this episode is is a is a crazy one, right? We got a lot of crazy shit going on. We got questions we're gonna answer. We got a science time is back. We got a P.O. box, which it's a bit sad, by the way. I'm holding up two letters. So um send us some shit. Otherwise, we're going to have to pretend that you guys are sending shit and send us stuff ourselves. And then there's a prank call. Yeah, it's just so many. It's just fucking nuts. But anyway, coronavirus. Marty spiked me on the weekend with two caps. Not yeah. just one, two caps after me taking a cap half an hour before I was spiked with two caps. So we went out to the coast for a friend's party and um, Michael's like, oh, no, I don't want to do drugs while I'm out because his face just melts when he's had MDMA and it looks just caves in disgusting. Like a it's fucking it's a disgusting. He looks like someone you just want to sh- shake until they just pass out. Like, it's just fucking disgusting the way Did you see it? On the, did, it did, I, did it come out? I can't really remember. Yeah, it was. Not much. Definitely, you've definitely been much worse. Anyway, yeah. so um, a few of us um, were spiking Michael's drink and it was very funny. Don't reckon, don't ever do that, obviously. We don't do it ever so do you don't to have friends. to do it. Yeah, I was just seeing what it was like to spike someone so that I could report to you guys what it's like. And, like, it's it's funny, but it's probably not worth the, the danger. I don't remember shit either. And I just remember sitting there going, how the fuck can I get this munted of one cap? Yeah. It was very funny. I was laughing a lot. That's so. Imagine if I died, as Matt said. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that would have been like the you know the the ultimate prank. The icing on top of the cake. Oh, prank gone wrong in brackets. I killed my mate. We bought weapons today. Yeah. So coronavirus, it's here. It's fucking shit up. By the time you listen to this, it'll be a week after we bought these weapons, and then we'll see. We'll see if we were right in buying these weapons. We also bought some canned food and stuff like that. And like, oh, you guys are the problem. You, pa- we have to panic buy because everyone else is panic buying. If we don't panic buy, there'll be nothing left to buy. So we also have to panic buy. So everyone out there, panic, panic, panic. Get to the stores. Buy as much as you can. Buy any food that'll last longer than a few months. Quickly, go and buy it. Buy some weapons because they'll definitely be start looting, looting. Start riots. looting. You can even... Why not? Any businesses closed down? Assault. Okay. Attack. Get there. Get it done. Quickly. Hide. Attack. Anyway, so that's shit talk for the week. And uh, <clears throat> I bought a tent. I got four cases of beer. And which I should have fucking got more. And he's got only going to last like a week. Four large bottles of weed oil as well. My yeah. Words. So, you know, we're prepared. If worse comes to worse and we have to stay indoors, we'll still be able to make videos and film podcasts, which is lovely. <laughs> By the way, if, if you're isolated because of coronavirus... Sucked in. <laughs> sucked in. But to make it better, our website, six hours, six hours of unseen content Man, on there now. That's six almost two weeks. hours. So, that's like two evenings worth and it's only five dollars us a month which you is, could even oh don't give which me is idea. like a hundred dollars australian i was gonna say month. just sign up and just, then watch it all and then just just fucking cancel yep, your subscription. you can do that. no you can you, if you want to just sign up binge watch everything and then unsubscribe go for it i don't care <laughs> that'd be pretty it's sad fine. it's fine no all Fuck that up. work for five bucks the other thing about the website is we do a monthly q a you get to join a cute little Facebook group where, you know, you can talk to us. So, it's not just content. But, yeah, if you want to do that, go for it. Yeah, I guess it's better than nothing. People do it with Netflix and Stan all the time. You might as well do it with our shit. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Do, do it. it. Cancel. Cancel. Everyone cancel <laughs> their fucking subscription. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this podcast is sponsored by the University of Markle uh, website. So if you want to support the podcast, sign up to the website. Six hours and two weekly videos a week. That's that's strong. There's like what normally one extended cut from all the science or prank yeah, and videos. And we're going to start filming website exclusive shit. Only soon, right? So there'll be like 
shit you can't see anywhere else. Anyway, enough of that plugging that. I feel a bit sick plugging it so aggressively, but just do it. Just do it. Yeah, what? It's, yeah. Just exactly. If you don't like it, you can unsubscribe. All the feedback's pretty good, though. Anyway, next segment is named... <laughs> and this is just a segment where we answer questions that you guys have sent in. Via Instagram, Marty Michael. We're just about to hit a mill. Wait! Oh, let's watch. Let's see if we have. All right. Let's see if we've hit one million on Instagram. We're on nine 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 three sixes upside down. Let's see what happens. We were on nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine thousand two hundred followers before this uh, podcast started. Um, so by the time you hear this, we'll be well over. Yeah, oh, we'll probably be at two mil. <laughs> Mm. At the moment, oh, we're so close. We've gone up another 500 followers. Oh, we need 240. By the end of this podcast, we should be on a million. Holy shit, that's cool. seven more. Uh, by the way- Maybe I've then got- we'll be happy. <laughs> by the way, I forgot to do uh, on this day. So, Matt's carefully- You know, it takes him- it, I've seen him. I've seen- He comes- he comes over at about 11 a.m. and starts researching for the on this day. Yeah, he leaves segment. wholesome way early. Yeah, yeah. He le- pretends he just tells them that he's like you know busy in a meeting or something, and then leaves. Hasn't been caught yet. <laughs> and then he comes here early to write these on this days. <clears throat> uh, so you know, and it takes a fair bit of research. Like some of this stuff I've never heard of. Some of this stuff doesn't make the news. So, Matt Brown has come up with these on this days. Matt Brown from Wholesome. Matthew Brown wrote this. No one else. (laughs) Matthew Gregory Brown. (laughs) On this day in, in 1965, Harvey Weinstein witnessed his father sucking himself off. Whoa. Oh, I'm sure it didn't really affect him. Yeah, no. He, oh, probably some way, maybe. I don't even know you could do that. Well, be- were you thinking that he'd just start hacking into himself? Not- try. Try to suck yourself off. I have. Now. I, I, no, I'd have to get my legs up over. I can- You can lick- I've told you this. Yeah, You can yeah. lick the knob. Michael can lick his knob. Yeah. It's difficult. <laughs> try it, uh, adults, not kids. All right. Next one. On this day in 1921, Bruce Willis was born as a 28-year-old man and only started aging again in the early 90s. Well, so he was twenty-eight. Tw- he's been twenty-eight for the you know a big chunk of his life. So there you go. He, I didn't know that. We have always been massive fans of Bruce Willis. Yeah, and and like the, you know something a little fact like that just sort of you know confirms it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, hey, what a what a good guy. He's he, born. He feels so man. safe. Male, female, kid killed adult. his mother. Killed his mother at birth because you know as a twenty-eight-year-old man climbing out of. He was a big lad, and he still looks good. Yeah, he still looks. He, yeah, it's it's good. Bruce Willis. He's just above us. Bruce Willis watches the show, mate. Brucey, mate. It looks like we're not going to be able to make it to LA anytime soon, but mate, you hang on to that, buddy. <clears throat> you keep those beers cold, mate. Because I'll tell you what, August, September, mate, we'll come knocking at your door, brother. <laughs> I put us in the granny flat like you did last time, mate. Because this one's going to piss your couch again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll play some darts. We'll Fucking play some darts. Brucey. In we'll on some this darts. day in 1879. Floods were invented when this dude left the hose on and fell asleep. Fuck. That's what? how it'll... 1879. So, that's how What about flies... Noah? I think that's a, uh, a myth. So, just a stupid, dumb, stupid it's lie. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if Noah was listening. Actually, I'm pretty sure he does listen to the I'm pretty podcast. sure Donald Trump is Noah. Yeah. I think. Storm's coming. <clears throat> All right, last one uh, from uh, on this day from Matthew Brown from Wholesome. On this day in 2020, oh, very recently, I carefully placed a marble in my ass and felt it slide up into my body. Even now as I write this, I'm overcome with anxiety as I'm not quite sure what to do. Did it ever come out? Matt, and he signed it off, Matt Brown, at the end to just to show that he's definitely written this. Did it? It's not really like an on this day, Matt, but like, yeah. There was a time so we can connect here, Matt. Disgusting. I was in year 10 and I was trying to impress the boys in the schoolyard as you do. <laughs> and like no one, everyone, there was a five cent coin. No one wanted to swallow it. I was like, fuck it. I'll just do it. So, I swallowed the five cent coin and I never, ever saw it again. Matt, similar to your story just now that you've written for us to read on the podcast. I saw the marble again. 
Ooh. Mm. You lucky? Oh, man, lucky imagine if duck. there was still a five cent coin in, in me. your body. Could be. That's that's smart. Yeah, I'm a bank. <laughs> He's a piggy bank. It, it might explain the hemorrhoids. Yeah, right now, after the big bender we had on the weekend, I now have a hemorrhoid forming. Can and you show geez, us? It's uncomfortable. I'll show you. You can have a look. All right, I'll try and describe it for those listening. I've seen it many times before. It looks like a uh, like, like a, a pea-sized flesh ball. You can stand a little further away from me if you could. Yeah, I can see one forming on the upper yeah. right quadrant of his asshole. Remember yesterday when we were at yours? Purple in color and uh, like a little, like a pea pushing through, pushing up against the skin. That's what it looks like, like a pea. Because remember how yesterday I was like, oh man, my ass is burning? Yeah. because of jalapenos and obviously there's blood and shit in a hemorrhoid, hemorrhoid. forming. Yeah. So now that's why it was burning all day. Yeah, we figured it out. Thank God. Science. But yeah, that's my life. <clears throat> anyway, on to the questions, eh? Ha. Let's get on to the questions. I'm all good. Okay. First question is from T.S. I'm ass Pavlos. This question is for your next podcast. Why aren't you guys verified yet? You are such good at YouTubers, but not verified. Just makes no sense. Hope you do get verified. Love you both. Always making me laugh. We, uh, look, it's not, it's not, you need, on Instagram, you need a lot of media, mainstream media attention to be verified, like a lot of it. We've had a small amount, but not a lot. And I know we have a lot of followers, but we've only had that account. That Our Instagram account is only a year and six months old, really? a year and a half old, and we're on a mill. So, um, the number doesn't Not really yet. matter. Almost a the, mil. The number doesn't really matter. All that matters is the media attention. There are people on like 5,000 followers who, who are verified just because they've been in the news a bit, a fair bit. So, it just it's just a waiting game. It's just a waiting game. But, you know. Maybe with that billboard. Yeah, you'd think so. But I'm starting to get a bit... Um, no one fucking cares about a billboard when the coronavirus is destroying 80-year-olds. Yeah, we're about to go into isolation like everyone in the country. So, we've bought... We've spent <laughs> so much money on... You oh, did, dickhead, not me. <laughs> we've... We together, joint decision, spent all this money on all these billboards and now no one is going to be driving past them. You know what I mean? Tries to convince me in private later. Oh, dude, it'll be, you know, tax deductible and, yeah, and we'll, we'll, you know, eventually well, you owe me money. help with fucking- But like, I dipped into my- You owe me money. He owes me my I had to dip into- oh. I don't want to get into it, but yeah, I've sent him an invoice. I looked good though, so thank you. But yeah, no one's going to see it, so we don't get any fucking growth. All right, next question. <laughs> so yeah, we will get verified eventually, but um, it might take just a little bit longer. TJ Venek, he's asked, this is a question for Michael. We have seen you eat a lot of shit in your day. If you had to pick a certain type of shit to eat, what kind of shit do you prefer? Great question. Dog. Dog shit. Because dog shit, there's something up, up with human shit. It's it's more fucked than animal shit, I reckon. Can I ask a side question about shit? Um, just wondering, how many different species of shit have you eaten? Obviously, human and dog. What I think else? it's just human and dog. No, surely there's been something else. What about birds that you've sucked? Birds, no. That might I, be no, something. I think there's been like there's been two occasions with dog shit. One for a video, one at kick-ons. And then one occasion when we were in Europe, with I think we told this story in a previous podcast where I just wanted you guys to get up and go to the bar at 7 a.m. So, he ate shit. His own My shit. own shit in a hostel I would in front think of many, many strangers. I would think that a dried cow pat, like it'd be dry in your mouth, but flavorless and-, and Horse shit would be doable, I reckon, because it is just grass. Well, I haven't eaten cow shit, but I've been around, you know- cows you've been inside where they shit from stood in it i've wrestled in it i've ejaculated on it and and it's always you know odorless flavorless i haven't tasted it but i've had my face smushed into it when i was in a locked in a battle with a heifer a large heifer and she was the leader of her herd 
and it took a good hour did you win struggle yeah <laughs> yeah i won did she get some good hits on you though oh man she was strong can't eh? Ooh, she had me pinned down in her own shit yeah that's 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 fucked your pride but then how did you get it back well you it, it filled me with rage when she had a hoof on my skull pushing it into her shit but then i just grabbed it and and with my other hand i smashed her knee joint so it snapped the knee and that was the turning point in the uh and they couldn't keep her body well, yeah, she, like, huge and, and then fat. she fell to the ground and then yeah i sort of twisted the broken leg and pulled it up as hard as i could and then um yeah i, I took over <laughs> did you take her life well, I left her in a pretty bad way. She was still breathing, but it was shallow, deep breaths, and she was gargling blood in her lungs. So, you know, chances, chance are, she's gone. chances are she's gone. But, you know. Each their own, right? All fair in love and war, brother. Cheers to that hef. I reckon horse shit would be the easiest to eat. Bird but, shit's small. Oh, yeah, but it's so fucking gunky. I want dry poo. Dry poo's nice. Yeah, dry poo would be nice. Yeah, it was better than wet poo. <laughs> yeah it's hard to do that like it's a hard stunt to to fully commit to swallowing the shit hurts like because then for like half an hour an hour hours after every burp tastes like shit yeah i remember god damn it anyway i'm fine i'm fine i'm happy <laughs> um bentley with two y's dot one has asked here's a good question lads has the billboards helped your channel since you put them up? Not really, no. We haven't noticed any. Um, the The video was good. The video did good and is doing well, but it's slowed down a lot. But no, the billboards haven't really done shit. Yeah, I guess we sort of we spoke about that. I think we got a few more question. listeners on podcasts. If you're a listener from the billboards, comment on the YouTube channel. Hey, mate. Yeah, just letting you know here that, oh, look, I listened to your podcast where you asked us to comment if we're a listener from the billboards and uh, you uh, you wa- wanted me to comment exactly what I'm saying right now. And look, yeah, listen, mate. Yeah, I saw you from the billboards. Next question. If you come from the billboards, comment that on the next, on this podcast, on the YouTube channel. Does that make sense? I think so. Yeah, comment that. Bailey. I'm Bailey. Bailey. This is uh, Michael's boyfriend's f- cousin. Yeah, Lockie's cousin. Yeah. He's asked, what do you do since there are no shit tickets left? I personally like to grab the peanut butter and go into the dog kennel. The rest is history. What's shit tickets? What's shit tickets? Oh, toilet paper. Ah, of course. I've uh, got this sh- Yeah, it's it's not a concern. Shower. Have a little rinse, wipe your bum. Yeah, well, yeah. You think like yeah, or shit, shit in the shower. Well, well, shit in the toilet because usually toilets are very close to showers, and then just walk to the shower and and rinse your asshole. I like I. It's nice just shitting and like if and worst, wiping in the shower. Worst case scenario, just I would just have a shit towel, and then just wash it once every two days. Wow, I didn't even think a of shit that. towel That's for a the great family. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's so smart. Or a shirt, like a, or a one of Mon's dresses. Oh man, we're gonna need some of those charge, dresses. That the we're uh, gonna need charge the, after this. The material is like would be perfect. It would, you know, a lot of friction, so it would grip onto a lot of the mess. Anyway, next question. All right, this one is from Sam underscore W underscore Nora. Oh, don't know. Do you know how much joy and positivity you guys actually spread? If yes, then how much? Um, That's a pretty look, good question. There's a lot. We spread a lot of love, a lot of joy. <laughs> we, we make the world a better place. You know, people are always like, oh. They're know, so dumb. Oh, look, look, oh, like, oh, you're so lucky. Look how lucky you are. You get to do that. You get to do all that. Like, where, first of all. Yeah, I have no idea the fucking sacrifices. You've got no idea. All right, this one's from Callum. Dot McCarvey. There's another couple of balls in the car, babe. I'm starting to stock up for coronavirus. How does it feel to be the best at everything? Yeah, it's normal. It was now. good, but now shit's hitting the fan. It's like, oh fuck! Of course, as soon as we become the best men ever, everything goes to shit. <laughs> yeah, well, like we, we, you know. 
It's not, you know. It's w- not that bad though. But it's not, you'll be fine. It's, it's normal. just the the economy and fucking everything's gonna. Well, just I think be he means how does it has it feel a bit like us personally being the best? You know, some of the best empty men in the still. World. I'm uh, still. Well, yeah, you, like it's not it's not fulfilling. It's just normal now. Like we just are like the best. But at the end of the day, if you don't. If, if your goal isn't to be the best man in the world, then being the best man in the world isn't going to really do it for you. So, that's sort of where we're at. You know what I mean? That's not our end goal. Our, when we started, we're, we're, we weren't like, oh, we're just going to be the best in the world. We were already. We, this we're, is, no it, one it knew. It just happened. It just, we just happened to become the best in the world. The fucking very best in the world. Shit's a bit fucked right now, but like, yeah. We'll, we'll be back to the very best. It's just all this coronavirus stuff just really makes it hard to be the best like yeah Bruce, and we Bruce had a break Willis. from we had a break from the podcast so we sort of i don't know we lost our train of thought and we've done a lot of um you know a lot of a lot of drugs and and you know we've you got king hit and that sort of fucked shit up for a while yeah it slowed me down for a week like right in the back locked jaw as well hit in the back and he got a locked jaw just mac macca's chips yeah i don't know it's just like normal Normal, being but it's be- okay. Being the best is normal to us. Yeah. That is our answer to that question. Atomic coffee heart. Does Michael dislike the feeling of having toenails? That's what we forgot to mention. Michael. I'm yeah. in agony right now. Can we show them on the podcast? Yeah, yeah. Go, go. I'll start explaining the story. You see if you can twist your leg up so that people watching on YouTube can see this. This so is so on the, bad. On the weekend when we were out drinking. Uh, after, this is after you spiked me. Yeah, so Michael's been spiked by someone. Not, no one's sure who. <laughs> and then... Oh, fuck me dude and then you know there was other people there that we hadn't met before some of our friends friends right and one of them asked michael oh you know is this shit you do like real man like it seems crazy and seems like it's too crazy to be real then to prove that we what we do is legitimate michael uh took his sock off and his shoe off and tore his big toenail off similar to what he did in one of our very ever first viral videos and now he's been in agony ever it's since. Throbbing. But worth At it. night's the worst because you've settled down. No one, no part of your body's moving. So everything in your brain just goes straight to your toe. Can you imagine being <laughs> that guy? It sucks, dude. Imagine being that I guy. I regret it. He fucking asks, like, is what you do real? And then you rip a toe. Like, and just for him. Just I know. We him. didn't even film it. Just for her, that one we person. We didn't even film it because I was spiked. So I wasn't thinking straight. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have been spikes, maybe. Underscore Joshua Todd's asked, how much money would it take for you to chop off your middle toe? Middle toe? I'd do it for... I'd do it for, It'd have to be a fair bit now. Ask me two years ago. I mean, 10 grand, you would have... Middle, nah, middle toe? Middle toe, 10 grand. Middle I reckon toe, now, grand. 100K. Uh, yeah. Depends on how you do it, too. Yeah, yeah, it'd have to be... I'd, I'd prefer to have it surgically removed. I'd take a reduction in payment to have it surgically removed. I'd do 90K for, yeah, surgery, 100K for just like a guillotine thing that someone just presses I'd probably do quick. 50K for surgically removed. They knock you out, you wake up and your toe's gone. You get painkillers from a doctor, 30K. Yeah, true, that's a win 30K, 20K. Yeah. 15, I'll do it for 10K. I would do, let's do it now. Any doctors listening, I'll do it for 5K. I'll pay you to do it to $500. me. $500. I'll pay you to do it to me. Done. For $200. All right. So, we'd pay 200 bucks to get our middle toe chopped off. Exactly. Sam underscore king.81. Hey, guys. I was just going to ask a question for your podcast. Has anyone ever gotten angry at you for doing your science experiments? And what happened? Sorry, not a great question. Hey, it's not bad. That's different. A mate, lot of the mate, shit- that's not bad. That's not bad, right? A lot of the shit they send in is the same questions. Yeah. So, this is nice. No, because science, we normally keep it away from the public. We've had the cops call on us during science experiments, but when they rock up and see that we're just fucking retards who just don't even really know how to speak, then they're like, oh, they're just some kids playing in the backyard. That's (laughs) that's sort of how they talk to us. Oh, are you having a fun day, hey? Playing with balloons or something. All right, well... Have a good day. Try and keep it down. That's how they talk to us. So we've had cops call, you know, with noise complaints. But the science experiments, we we don't involve the public because 
no one needs to be exposed to that sort of high level research and science. They wouldn't it's just get confusing. it. It's just confusing. That's why cops get called because yeah. it's just too fucking. It's people too much think shock. that we're like wizards or something. People think, oh, there's two wizards out the front performing miracles. That's yeah. very common feedback that we get when police come to talk to us. So yeah, and, and in a way, like, like you know, I'm trying to stay humble, but in a way, we are wizards. We are magicians. Well, I bought a crystal ball. And like we are so intelligent, like we're, we're, our intelligence is on a different level. It's hard for you fucking idiots, everyone, you know, most people to relate to. You know what I mean? Most people are just, most people are just normal, and we're just like, like triple, quadruple that. You know what I mean? It's hard to explain unless you have this high level cogs turning genius, gears, heaps of gears in Lots, the brain. Gears so turn. many, I don't even make sense. DW forty, so it's all lubed up, so really clear functioning. White too. light. White light when I sleep. Yeah. All right, last question. All right, this one's from Taurus underscore Elizabeth 8, and she's asked, this is for you. Can you please do some racist comments in German just for a laugh and, of course, for science? Now, you don't have to do racist, it, but fuck it. It's Germans are... Well, you guys were, Ger- sorry. Ger- Germans are German. Yeah, you guys were a bit racist for a bit. That, that's that's factual. Well, you know what? It, it's hard... It's, generalizing Germans as racist is racist yeah that's a good point racist pig <laughs> racist pig <laughs> but I reckon okay let's just go on a character here Marty I reckon okay just do an angry like sexual like a very sexual dad ringworm Michael sent that question in ringworm Michael Taurus Michael, underscore Michael just wants me to say something racist on the podcast well, Michael, it's not going to happen, okay? I'm not going to be racist in any language because that's wrong. <laughs> okay, just be an angry sexual dad. <sighs> <laughs> Dude, that's spot on. That's Klaus. Well, I'm just, you know, that's just what my dad used to do. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, uh, please do just an angry outburst. And I love it. Hearing Marty talk on the phone to his mum makes me laugh harder than fucking seeing an old person fall over. But it's okay after they fall over. Maybe we, maybe you can introduce the next segment in German. Yeah. So much pressure right now. Oh, dude, just oh, I love this shit, man. It's calm. so funny, this this language. All right, on to our next segment, which has been very recently renamed. It's been renamed to... <clears throat> Meine Scheiße stinkt wie deine Tante. Oh! How does that even make sense? It doesn't really. <laughs> Meine Schneider, Snicknicks and Bakaida. That was amazing. Thank you. Great question from Elizabeth. And in this pod, in this segment, we open stuff that you guys have sent into our PO box. So let's get into that. All right, we have a letter. Uh, the letter says, "It's great watching your two faces put Stephen Hawking's through his paces, but Fallon, Irwin, and Charmy, and then annoying Pom Hanby, can asphyxiate themselves with these laces." <laughs> So, Holy shit. So this person uh, hasn't written their name, but that's okay. They don't need to. And obviously, I would want to remain anonymous as well. They want our uh, uh, fellow uh, influencers and friends to hang themselves with these laces. And uh, we'll ask them. Honestly, we will ask them. I'll send them a photo of this after and be like, boys, oh. just a suggestion. <laughs> Maybe hang yourself with the laces. Like, I'll, we'll ask them. Because it's only fair. The person's gone all this trouble all the way from. They didn't even put Connecticut. Really? Oh yeah. What is that real? Oh yeah. Connecticut mudslide. (laughs) All right. Next letter and last letter for the PO box. Pretty shit segment today, guys. Anyway, send some virus. If you're yeah. if you have coronavirus, cough into a jar. Yes. Bottle it up. Send it. Do that. Yeah. We'll inhale it. Oh, please do that. All right, here we go. All right, let's see, first of all, if this... All right, this is from uh, Chris from Louisville in uh, KY, Kansas. It's not Louisville, is it? It's where Dorothy's from. Louisville. Wizard of Oz. 
Like she was from there. Lewis Vile is pronounced here in Australia. Lewis Vile KY. All right. So it looks like this person has um, done some drawings for us. So here we have a uh, picture of what I'm assuming is a um, maybe like you've had sex with an Asian lady and this is your 30 year old Asian half Australian son. Oh, yeah. I can see he's got. Yeah, so Michael's right had a there, had a son with an Asian lady, and now the son is thirty years old, and it's a picture of him saying, "Give us a crack," and I'm I'm assuming he means give us some crack because your future son, of course, will be a crack addict. So yeah, it's quite quite it's intelligent, nice. very very insightful. He looks a bit deformed. Look how big he's like yeah, gap between yeah. his nose and eyes. Your are. future son, crack addict, definitely oh, will be shit. deformed. We have one more picture here. Um, <clears throat> so, this is a picture here uh, of a, a small cartoon character who's yellow, like like really yellow. And it says, he's got a little speech bubble. It says, Martin to serve. And that's from that uh, sports ball video. So, it's nice. Yeah. Possibly uh, my future son with some sort of uh, nutrition deficiency yeah what's it called to, like Lyme's disease or him to become no a, Jordan or Jordis Jordan when they're born Jordis I think Jordan it's called Jordis Jordis <laughs> is that it Jordis there you go so yeah uh, your so, future kid's gonna have a Jordis so Michael's future mine's kid gonna will be have a, a gap between his eyes and nose fucking Asian crack addict and my future son will be a yellow athlete <laughs> thank you that is all for PO Box this week and let me tell you, thank you. Yeah. You guys are so good to us. Too good. <laughs> like sometimes I'm like, what? We hit a mill. Oh, <laughs> we hit a mill on Instagram. <laughs> Let's out on E. Oh, man. It's, it's definitely not what I thought it'd be. This is a cause for celebration. Oh, that looks good. No, oh, yeah. There's a let good just, yeah, I'm on a high for a little bit. Let me just quickly. Okay. Let me just quickly. I'm going to do a plug to the podcast as well. Hey, guys. We just hit a meal on um, Instagram. We're halfway through our podcast and we just wanted to stop and say, yeah, whatever. Hurry up, two mil. Hurry up, two mil. I tried to just go up here to be cool. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, I can smell it. <laughs> I feel sick. I've made myself a bit sick. No, I'm okay. I'll be all right. Oh, I regret that. Time for the next segment, and it's called which, of course, is science time. Weird segment name, Matthew Brown. Wholesome. Headquarters at Milton there. Might close down soon. Someone might get corona. What have you got for us this week, Michael? Okay. Have you heard of electricity? No. Why don't you tell us some more? Well, it's what we use to power the lights and the TVs. So That's that's unbelievable. He's uh, blowing up a balloon now. The balloon is coloured. So, there is another form of electricity called static electricity. I'm excited. And it's this one's created from God himself. Not not just fucking energetics and fucking... Water. Origin. Origin. And... Uh, Alinta. Alinta is a very big... To wear with. Isn't yeah, it I that? think I'm with them too. Me and, yeah. Mon, me and Mon, my girlfriend's here watching. We're with Alinta. Alinta? Come on. No, Matt's with Wholesome. Yeah, Matt's with Wholesome, of course. Wholesome powers his house. So, basically, think about it this way. Listen. Ooh. Yeah, think about it that way first. And secondly, all right, somehow it's in the future. So, Michael's just blown up this colorful balloon and he's trying to tie it. It's th- 3,020, so 1,000 years from now. And... <laughs> Your kid somehow is made of metal and he's fucking fat. He is so fat. I've actually had premonitions about this. Like your kid's so fat and he's tripped over. He's got a new virus that's even worse than the corona. Abortion. Yeah, you should have killed him. But you didn't 
And now he's there lying on the road and everyone's evacuating, going nuts, you know, 3,020. And you've got to move him somehow. And he's made of metal because they're all, it'll probably be robots by then. Yeah, 100%. I've so, already, it's a fact that everyone will be metal. All right. Say, obviously, there'll be, it'll be pro gay marriage Sex. still in 3020. So I'm with my husband. We've got our fucking metal kid. We need to move him because we got to get him Off away road. from the city because of an even harder, scarier virus. So may I use my partner's head? Yes. Bang! Oh, he scared me. So, this is called static electricity, children. And this is how you move your fat future kid. They have to be fat. If they're thin or rectangular. Yeah, because he just walk. And he's metal. If they were thin and rectangular, this would be not as effective. Watch this. Wow. The Marcus just rubbed the balloon against my hair and then held it near the can and the can moves towards the balloon so he's able to move it in whatever direction he wants. And wow. Thanks, guys. Wow. That's wizard stuff. That's back to what well, the wizard. You, you know what? You know what? It is. We are, we're, we're so, it's, it's fucked. It, it's wizard. Wizardry. Scientists, wizards. Wizard is just the old school name for scientists. Merlin. All right. On we know our, Merlin. All right. Let's move on to our last segment, which has been renamed. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. I'm so glad. Still ringing. Sorry. Oh, it's turn it down. How do I do that? Get it back. <laughs> Who is it? How do you make it do normal? Talk now. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Tell me when it's fine. I'm <laughs> it's being... lower than mine now, look. <laughs> Just tell me okay, when it's fine. it's done. Next segment, hurry up. All right, here we go. The prank calls. This is a segment where we just do prank calls. Hey, guys, I have a prank call for you. So basically, this guy I work with just changed power companies. And then he had the power company he changed from win him back over with cheaper rates. We listen to your podcast in the Ute every Tuesday morning, and I've introduced him to your content. I think it would be fucking hilarious if you rang him posing as an <coughs> origin energy manager claiming that he scammed one of their workers into getting him a better price. Oh, this is fucking good shit. Very good, James. Whoever James Legend. This is this is the this is the type of detail we need for a great prank call. We've said it before. <clears throat> Hello, Kate speaking. G'day, Kate. Uh, my name's Brian Cullen. I'm just calling on behalf of um, Origin Any Energy. Do you do you have a uh, five minutes for a quick chat? Okay, so um, I, I think recently you've spoken to one of our um, employees about um, about possibly changing uh, energy companies, and then um, she's given you a um, reduced rate, and, uh, and 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 now you're sitting on a, a reduced rate with Origin Energy. Is is that correct? Does that ring a bell? Yeah, mate. So, um, look, the 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 uh, the account has been passed on to um, you, know, you know to someone higher up and and what she's done is is actually um illegal right so she can't actually do that and um look i don't really know how to bloody uh, tell you this mate but there, there 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 is an outstanding fee on your account and um and we're gonna need you to fix it up and uh and your 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 rate before uh she spoke to you will be your rate ongoing so, um, yeah, so we just sort of got to give you a call and let you know that, um, that it's, yeah, it, it's not going to work. You can set up a payment plan. And, and, you know, we've given you option. We're going to give you options too, obviously. You can pay, you can pay off. I think it's a $500 fee. Um, you can pay, pay it off in installments or you can pay it off in one go or whatever. Or, you know, alternatively, once you've paid this, we can let you go and move on to whatever energy company you want, but the rates that we have, we sort of have to enforce. 
and um, the person you spoke to has, uh, yeah, she's, you know, she's, uh, she's been fired. What? So there's a five hundred and two dollar fee outstanding at the moment with Origin Energy. We have to call you, and, and this happens occasionally. One of our, one of the people on our sales team says something that we cannot deliver, and then we sort of, you know, got to call and backtrack, but. Yeah, there's a five hundred and two dollar fee at standing on your account now, and if you, uh, it says here if you don't pay within five business days, that will have to shut the power off to you, to your residence. Unfortunately, at least start a, start a payment. Start. So what do you want me to do? Start a payment. So uh, we, we will shortly email you the existing uh, bill on your account, and um, and if you can could pay that straight away, that would be great. Um, alternatively, we can put you on a, a payment plan. You can pay it off in um, four to five days. Or, I'm not paying it. You fucked up. Um, well, uh, you know. Uh, what are you talking uh, about? I was trying to change to save money and now you're putting a bill on me. Well, uh, again, it was it was one of our employees, and we've trained all of our, our all of our sales staff not to uh, you know say things that they can't deliver. So, and she has been uh, reprimanded for that as well. So, and you know, unfortunately, we can't we, we you know we can't just we, we can't just let people get away with uh, you know paying less stealing. all of a sudden or because stealing. you know we're trying to run a company. And um, at the end of the day, it's sort of it's 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 like you're stealing, really. So we have to send you. No, the... it's not. It's not at all like I was stealing. Go, you, every, all your phone calls are recorded, aren't they? Of course, also, of course, like, for training purposes. Phone call. Go listen to how she explained it to me. Yeah. Fucked up. You're wearing it. I'm not paying it. Well, so you, I don't want just to continue on this though. conversation because I don't even know who you are. Is it who you're saying you are? So unless you send me something in writing, an email, or a letter. Look, mate, I've got, got your details on file. I've got your details on file. I'm about to send you uh, an email w- with the bill, but I'm just letting yeah, you know. Send me an email, then call me back because I don't really want to. I'm letting you know that you your episode, electricity no, will be cut off within say, five business days if you don't pay the bill. I don't really care, mate. Call him you don't care if your electricity gets shut off. Well, that's bullshit, mate. If your electricity gets shut off, your fucking quality of life goes down the <laughs> shithole. If you fucking hear me, you pay that bill or we'll send our boys around to collect. You fucking hear me? Okay. Okay, do that. Yeah, the boys are coming. The boys are coming with the cavalry. So you fucking better get out of that house because they'll be taking furniture. Do you understand me? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, that makes me happy. And I am actually, I work oh. at Origin Energy. That was a legit work call. Holy shit, dude. Oh, I, that's never let him know that it was all good. <laughs> let's just leave him thinking that it's all fucked. That's the end of our uh, podcast episode six for the year. And let me tell you what. I reckon we are. Cut. No, we the are be- now. We're the best. We're, we're back. Best. We're back and we're the best. I'll skull I will skull and not fuck up. To I finish. will fucking skull this to you fucking To show we're the best. We're the, the best. best. <sighs> you threw up last time. Best! <laughs> See? That's best behavior. Best!